It's an exhibit about art, war, history, and faith. Since 2015 marks the centennial of the Armenian genocide, the items also reflect an underlying theme. Quindi la mostra racconta l'Armenia, racconta il, la, tra, la tragica storia del genocidio e racconta la rinascita che la, il popolo armeno ha avuto. Titled Armenia, the people of the Ark, this two-month exhibit is taking place in the city of Rome. Some of the priceless items were hidden by refugees during the genocide, where more than 1.5 million Armenians were killed under the rule of the Ottoman Empire in what is now present-day Turkey. 100 years have passed, but that chapter in history is still very much alive. Those who managed to escape made near and faraway lands their new home. Amid the violence and persecution, some made it a point to protect these religious and historic items at all cost. Salvate, grazie a, a, all'attiva partecipazione di, dei deportati, dei profughi armeni, che a volte, anche con il costo della propria vita, mi salvarono eh, importanti testimonianze della loro cultura. It includes everything from religious icons to models of architecture and ancient manuscripts that were passed from generation to generation. This, for example, is the largest manuscript written in Armenian. It includes homilies and it dates back to the 13th century. Composto di più di 800 fogli di pergamena, la grandezza dei fogli di pergamena ci fa supporre che probabilmente fu utilizzata una pecora per ogni foglio. Since Armenia became the first nation to adopt Christianity as its official religion, some of these pieces could very well be the first Christian icons to ever be designed. Armenia, the people of the Ark, will be on display until May 3rd. More than just a typical exhibit, it reflects the rise and fall of a people, the pain of persecution, and the strength of their revival.